Good morning. Happy Saturday. I know. Aren't those words lovely? Yes, they are. Let's get into three easy things we need to do in order to save money. Back in a minute. This is Jan from New York City, and I truly love, love, love helping people like yourself save some more of your own what? Hard-earned money. Could that be you? Thanks so much for being here. I hope you have a great upcoming weekend, starting off this morning with little ways in which we could save. You know, there are ways and there are ways. Now, we need to know that, well, the following. Let me put up my magic banner. (laughs) Never forget that every little bit helps. Sometimes we get so caught up into the grandiose things. We listen to TV, some of us, radio, some of us, or just online. We hear a lot about big numbers, big numbers that, well, maybe if you save $3 at the grocery store, it doesn't seem significant to other people, but we don't care about how it reacts to other people. You're caring about how it works for you. So that $3 that you might have saved on that grocery store trip, well, that was $3 saved. And don't forget, there are other things you're going to do throughout the day that may turn it into a $30 save day. So every little bit helps. And of course, it pays to be consistent. So let's say that you plan to save or put away $20 a week every single week for the year. Okay. $20 times 52 is $1,040 less time I checked. That's a lot of do re me to saying. So every little bit helps and start small, but keep going. Now, of course, I oftentimes mention the dollar a day method, and it could be as easy as, or literally as taking an actual dollar. But lately, some people, we just don't work with that as much as we used to. So find ways that you can literally like save that value, whether it's digitally or whatever, but mark it in your mind. Today I saved the dollar on that grocery or I had a no spend week. Add it up all together. Start small, but keep going. So I look at the dollar a day savings as a great launching pad, but I also look at it as training wheels. You don't want to stay on the dollar a day method forever without growing. Sometimes it's a little painful to grow a little bit, but every time you get through those pains, you've grown a little more, right? So too with the additional money. So if you started off with a dollar a day, that's effectively $7 a week, bump it up to another number, let's say $10. Okay. Start small, but keep going. I know you can do it. We can do this. We got this covered. And finally, this is a really important thing to remember. Sometimes just being quiet is better. Sometimes just shh (laughs) helps. Ever start a project and you're so excited about it, you tell this one and you tell that one and all this and all that, and it starts off great, but then for some reason or another, there's like a little bit of pressure going on because that person might ask you all the time, well, how's it going, how's it going, how's it going? about that thing and maybe didn't work out that way. Sometimes you're just better off encouraging yourself and just reminding yourself that you can do this little project of saving. And I think sometimes it takes a lot of pressure off. It really, really does. For example, let's just compare it to decluttering, for example, right? Instead of saying to a friend or a relative, I'm going to declutter this whole unit, okay? Either A, you don't say anything, which is kind of like the shush method, or you say, you know what? I think today I might just declutter a drawer. Or I think today, I think I'll just, you know, declutter a small closet in the bedroom, for example. Whatever, just, you know, happenstance, have a chat about it, like not make a huge fuss about it, whatever. And just like keep it on a smaller magnitude small level because just in case it doesn't work out perfectly 
you were not going to hear the judgment. Oh, you didn't get it done yet. How many times you started this, that, that, that? No, 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 no. You try your best. You start on the training wheels. Know that every little bit counts and it all adds up. I want to wish everybody an amazing weekend. And don't forget that it is never, ever, ever, ever too small. You know, I oftentimes think of this lady, and I put this on on purpose as a reminder that we can do it. Hang on. fantastic Saturday. Take good care of yourself and your wonderful family.